Today I'm going to talk about how to make a hive stand for less than $25. It's a, it's a very commonly used hive stand. You'll see it in a lot of videos. It's essentially, it's just made with four cinder blocks. And these are, I think they're 116, 150, something like that. You can get them from Home Depot or Lowe's or any other similar department store. So you'll need four of those. And this is a four by four post. And you'll need two of these. Very simple to make. If you buy everything, the cinder blocks cost say 150 each. So you're at $6 for those. And then the four by four posts probably cost about $10 each. So for about $26, $25, um, I think the cinder blocks are actually a little cheaper. I think they're maybe 125. So for about $25, you can make a hive stand. And these hive stands, um, you can put about four hives on them. Um, maybe more if you have nukes or if you pack them together a little closer. And they're very transportable. The hive stand I have over there, it works well, but it's quite heavy. And if I wanted to move it, I'd have to take it apart. And um, it's just kind of cumbersome to do that. I think I'm going to start using this cinder block and 4x4 post design. Because it's so easy to take apart, it's easy to set up, and it's relatively cheap. And if you can find the 4x4s, or even you could find uh, two by fours and screw them together, um, scrap wood, that kind of thing, or some other kind of posts. You could make this hive stand for, for free. So it's a very economical design and uh, works pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these three hives, I'm gonna move them forward and then I'll set up the hive stand and put them back on that hive stand. Because right now, I don't have a hive stand. I just have um, some big two by four boards that these hives are sitting on. I didn't have a hive stand at the time. I wanna make sure when I'm doing it to put black weed guard down because I don't like weeds growing up under the hives. So I'm gonna do that and you'll see how quick it is to set up one of these hive stands. So to make this stand, I'm going to stack the cinder blocks right on top of each other. They're just simply stacked on top of each other. And then I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the 4x4s through those holes. If you want the hive stand taller, you can just add a third cinder block on top of that. I'm going to set up another stack of cinder blocks over on this side. So that is 
how you do it. Took me a little bit longer because I had to move the old hive stand out of the way, but it's just a quick and easy hive stand. Very movable, very portable, and it looks like you can fit four hives on here. They're a little close together, a little closer than I would like. I could probably um, push the cinder blocks out a little bit and not, not have as much of the wood pushed into the cinder blocks, give myself a little more space on those. I could also get 10 foot 4x4 four four posts instead of 8 foot. I got 8 foot posts. I think next time I'll probably get 10 foot or potentially 12 foot and use those instead. I'm using a womanized board, um, a womanized post. That's going to last longer. It's going to be more durable with the weather. So yeah, it's a, a quick and easy hive stand. Don't have to cut anything. Don't have to spend a whole bunch of time working on something. Goes together real quick and you can take it down real quick.